Hi, I'm Carrie. This is Student Loan Chit Chat. I'm going to start doing very short mini videos when there is a TikTok upload or YouTube upload with someone ranting or saying something, uh, expressing some emotion about student loan or consumer debt that I feel is relevant to this channel. And in this case, there's this current one trending on TikTok. And so I'm going to go ahead and play it. And then I'm just going to give a couple minute commentary about it. And that is it. And I will upload these just as they're trending. I hope you guys enjoy it. You know what I've realized is the 80K now I'm in debt for college, I could have got the 2023 Ford Bronco that I wanted. I don't care what anybody says, a college degree is useless. I said what I said, like it's useless. You're telling me that I'm gonna apply to all these jobs, pay a shit ton of money for this piece of paper that's not even gonna work. If I get one more email that says, I'm sorry, we went with another candidate. We will keep you open, like for other job opportunities. No, it's good, dude. It's good. I am just going to go back in my bed and cry because I was lying. All right. Um, clearly, this young lady is upset. And um, these are just meant to be short reaction videos to these TikToks that I'll create as they trend, and even past ones if I think they are uh, relevant. What this young lady meant to say at the end, and I uh, cut it off really quickly, but she was saying that she was lied to. This is part of the reason so many people are believing that uh, these young people should be given loan forgiveness. And I can't say that I disagree with that. Now, of course, I had my own loan forgiveness, but you know, I'm, I'm 56 and mine happened last year. But you're talking young people who were told uh, basically by everybody under the sun, okay? Uh, people at school, people at home, probably people in their um, extended family reach and all of that. They were told, go to school go to college. College is going to be the financial answer. I think if you were in the 80s, like I was in, um, and even the 90s and earlier, I think college had some huge, huge benefits financially. Now, I don't think it's the only way to achieve financially. I think it is a tool to achieve financially, okay? And certain careers, you have to have a college degree. If you are not going into a career that demands a college degree, you really need to do the math on whether or not college is financially worth it, okay? There are careers that do demand it. You have to have one, all right? And that's understandable. And in a lot of these careers, a degree is very appropriate. What this young lady is realizing is that what she was led to believe um, isn't necessarily true. But in defense of even the people who told her to go to school, there is something else to consider, okay? And I am in no way blaming her for her feeling upset. A lot of these young people were raised in the age of Amazon. You know, they weren't raised when you had to wait for the grocery store to open up in the morning, okay? And your only grocery outlet past 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock was 7-Eleven, okay? These young people weren't raised in the, and, I, and again, I'm not faulting them, but it is something that, you know, young people need to look at. They weren't raised where you had to wait maybe two, three weeks to get a response to something, okay, or someone for a package to come in the mail for deliveries to be made, okay. Um, for some people, if, you know, if it is an Amazon Prime that afternoon, it's considered a long wait. The age of instantaneous uh, deliveries and communication. I think at times for young people, um, they, they forget that when it comes to earning income, when it comes to finding a job, this can take a long time. And when they are used to just simply being able to call Grubhub, I mean, I can get off work and have my groceries ready for me at Walmart. And I just sit in my car for five, 10 minutes and somebody brings me my groceries and I head home. Something that would have taken me maybe an hour to have done after work, I can do now in 10 minutes. I know because I've timed it. Okay. And I think part of the frustration of these young people, it's not just that college 
you know, that perhaps they majored in something that they should not have. All right. But it's also the expectation that, okay, I now have my degree, hand me the paperwork right now. Okay. And give me, show me the money. And when that money isn't made right away, when the houses that they are looking at today, you know, look like, like I've said in an earlier video, they look like, you know, what our great grandparents would have thought of as mini mansions. We now look at it as a starter house. Okay. Drive some of these young folks through a neighborhood with four walls and a roof and they'll look at it and go, Ooh, who wants to live there? In other words, there, there's a certain disconnect. I think that some young people have, I'm not saying all by any means. Okay. But enough of that. They have this expectation that once they're done with college, the money, money is supposed to start rolling in. Doesn't work that way in the real world. It does not work that way. Some people like myself, I had to wait a couple of years after I got out of college to get into a job that I majored in for journalism. Okay. A lot of them, I don't think realize that there is a amount of time. There is a waiting period that most students are going to have to go through before they enter their career. So that's the first issue. Okay. The second, of course, is that they are taking out debt loads that are just asinine for, you know, the, 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 the job they're going to hold just absolutely unbelievable. I mean, two, you know, hundred, hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand dollars in college degree debt. The, these figures, as far as I know, in the eighties and I was going to school, you, you wouldn't even hear of a figure like that. Excuse me. You won't even hear of a figure like that. But part of the problem is these kids are going to school without anyone showing them the financial way, without anyone. With the, there is no adult in the room monitoring this stuff. There are no adults monitoring. The kids are just being told, go to school. Everybody does it. You do it too. And we're all going to run up this debt because everybody does it, or at least most of us do. And then we're all going to figure it out afterwards. So they're graduating. And, and I can pretty much tell you that unless she is right smack on it, you know, this $80,000 debt has a very good chance of turning into a hundred, a hundred grand. Okay. She, 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 she looks very young, you know, probably, I don't know, 25 and under. Okay. So this is what's happening. And she's expressing what many, many people are feeling. And this is why we need to change the way we sell college. And she's mad and she has a right to be. But we also, I also have to tell these young folks that they're not used to having to wait for time. They're not used to having to wait for that. Okay. They can send an email. Have you ever had a friend send you a text message and you know, you don't live by your phone, you know, and three minutes passes. And it's like, where are you? You know, I sent you a text message on this. And yet in the olden days, you might have to call and call and call because voicemail didn't even exist. In other words, the waiting time is not there. They haven't experienced a waiting time. And that's part of the problem. So her frustration is, is it, uh, is on multifaceted. I think that's the word. Okay. It's, but it, but it's on many different levels. It's not just one level. Part of it is the impatience of time. Part of it is they've been told to go to college. Okay. Um, and it may, may not have been necessary for the degree. Part of it is that there's no adult in the room monitoring if the college is necessary. And if so, how much, what school are they going to? Can we do it cheaper? Okay. And so like she said at the end, but like I said, it got cut, cut off, cut off. She said she was lied to. So anyways, I could go on and on, but these are just short little videos. Um, I want to do whenever I see a TikTok trending. And if I see some past ones, heck, if I have extra time to kill, I'll respond to those too. But um, I can see why she's upset. The other thing is a side note, and, and I want to make this real short. People, you got to watch wearing a tank top. I understand she's frustrated, okay? I, I, I get it. But they also have to understand, and I'm telling this specifically to young people because I see this a lot in the young generation, you've got potential employers looking at you. 
you need to be careful um, showing too much anger on social media. Yes, it's okay to show emotion. I certainly have shown my emotion. It's okay to state your point, yada, yada. But you want to watch the anger part because a lot of young people, you know, and I know it's the to do thing today and you're, you know, I'm 56. So what do I know about that? Right. Okay. Um, but I really would just caution people, you know, it's okay to vent, but be careful. Okay. About what you wear when you vent. Okay. I don't know if I would have shown up in that particular outfit and, um, you, you always want to try to display your best foot forward, especially when you're very young. You have not established yourself in a career. You have not established yourself with employers yet. You don't have a track record or history that anybody can go by. So you just got, I just, you know, tell young people, be careful about that. Okay. Don't want that to get in the way of your job search. But yeah, I understand why she's upset. She has every right to be upset. But, um, yeah, we just, we need more adults in the room. And she speaks for many, many people her age. I have no doubt about it. All right, I'm Carrie. This is Student Loan Chit Chat. Thanks so much for watching. I do hope you will consider subscribing. Have a great evening. Bye.